Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. Pleased, so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? We look for... Dangerous. They seem very angry. You're the ones that I often see at the shrine. What's wrong? <laughs> what? Koromaro-san? You think we what? Wait! We aren't mistreating Koromaro-san! It's true that he's been helping us in our battles, but... What? No! Oh, um... These are Koromaro-san's old friends. They doubt our intentions regarding Koromaro-san, since he's been more frequently injured lately. How can we make them understand? This is all a misunderstanding, everyone. Please, don't be angry. Just calm down. I'm so sorry. My hand is hard. I see. No wonder they're suspicious of me. My body is completely unnatural to them. I hope that dog isn't hurt. I've been thinking lately. No matter how human my heart becomes, my body will always remain a machine. Of course, it's obvious when you think about it, but I'm not strong enough to be a weapon, and I'm too stiff to pass as a human. There's nowhere I truly belong. I'm neither completely machine, nor quite human. <sighs> but... <sighs> oh... I'm sorry. Thank you. You're right. Even if I can't quite explain it, I have to be true to myself. Hmm. Sorry for bringing all of this up. If I hadn't been created, I never would have met everyone. And that includes you. If I can stay by your side, then nothing should faze me. I know that. Make sure that Koromaru-san's friends understand our situation. I don't want you to end up in danger again. I'll see you later. Excuse me. It could. 
couldn't be. Thank you. Why don't we try adding some spice today? Go ahead and blend it however you like. Ugh, I always find this to be so relaxing. I suppose you could call it a moment of bliss. Let me know whenever you're in the mood for more tea. I'd be happy to treat you. trouble you for a moment. Have you seen a kitty cat around here? She's a precious little white spotted cat named Michan. She slipped away when I wasn't looking. I'm so worried about where she could have gone. She's getting on in her years, like me, so I doubt she could have gotten very far. A white spotted cat. Did you see one? I've been so worried. 
I hope my little Michan is eating all right. Thank you for your help. I'll try looking elsewhere. A white spotted cat named Michan. If you don't mind, could we help her look? Being separated from a loved one can be very distressing after all. Yes! Um, what's the phrase usually used in situations like these? What goes around, comes around to hit you in the back of the head. That's it! She might be so hungry, she could eat a house. Or was it hungry as a house? In any case, we should hurry. shadows. But when it comes to this, I'm useless, aren't I? And I was the one who insisted we search. I'm sorry. It's not working out. After all, how could a machine like myself have feelings like a normal person? It's getting dark. We should probably give up the search for today. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you took the time to indulge me in this. I'll be going back alone today. I need some time to think. I'm sorry. After you invited me out, too. Yes! Okay. Excuse me. Sorry, but I need your advice again. Let's meet up after art club like we did the other day. Um, don't tell anyone else about this, okay? I'm still torn on studying abroad. My dad's trying to make all my decisions for me. He chose the school I'd go to, the dorm I'd live in. He even bought my plane ticket already. And I haven't actually agreed to go through with it yet either. He's been like this ever since we argued about the art club. It's like he's suddenly trying to be more understanding. It's weird. Well, being a doctor is something I think about a lot. 
If I do end up studying abroad now and become an artist, there's no turning back, is there? Then I could never be a doctor. My teachers, my friends, and especially you. Everyone's been so supportive, and I know what you must be thinking. A chance to study abroad? What an opportunity! Sorry, it seems like all I ever do is complain to you, but I always feel a lot better after talking to you, so thanks. Now I don't even know what I really want to do. In times like this, I turn to the heavens. I have to head to the bookstore. You can go on without me. I'm buying a fortune-telling book and reading the whole thing in one night. comes the champ. Now things are getting exciting. Get him, Amada. We heard you two were going to have a match. We're just here to witness it. That's right. We're here to watch the little dude shine. When I told them I wanted to beat you, they all offered to help. I set up a training routine for him and gave him advice on his movements. I also wanted to build my legs and core, so I've been going on runs with Koromaru. And I took on the role of being you for practice matches. We figured if he couldn't land a hit on Junpei, then beating you would be out of the question. But hey, spare a thought for the guy covered in bruises over here. Man, he really didn't hold back anything on me. Well then, let's do this. Yeah! <laughs> You're doing good, Amada! Keep it up! You can do this. Just take it half a step further. Yeah! <laughs> Crap, did he get hit? The next one's coming. Get up! Hey, are you guys up there? Oh, oh yeah! That's a clean hit! The winner is Amada in the blue corner! <laughs> I just got lucky. Plus, I did kind of cheat. No. You saw a window of opportunity and you took it. That's something to be proud of. Fuka and I bought some roasted sweet potatoes. I was looking for everyone to come eat with us, but what are you guys doing up here anyway? We're witnessing a showdown between men. Right, Amada? It sounds kind of weird when you put it like that. But yeah, I guess so. It was a great match on both sides. Huh? I don't really get it, but it sounds like you're having fun. It's cold though, so you should head inside soon. Oh wait, did you say sweet potatoes? Count me in! I bought them for a Matakun. Junpei, you can have the skin and the burnt parts. Hey! What am I, a dog? Thanks for the match. I learned a lot from it. It was just luck. I was stuck on the defensive that whole time. 
Guess I still have a long way to go. You really are amazing. Technically, we're tied one to one now, so the next match decides the real winner. <laughs> Not sure I actually have a chance, though. But I hope you'll let me challenge you again sometime. You gotta promise, okay? Okay. Then, until that time comes, will you hold on to this for me? That's the key to the house I lived in with my mom. Whenever I look at it, I remember the time I spent with her. That house is filled with all kinds of memories we shared together. I know the final battle isn't going to be easy, but no matter what, I want to come back here. I feel like this key will connect us to each other. And I hope, someday, maybe I can be that person someone can always come back to. Just like how Mom and everyone at the dorm was there for me. Uh, sorry for talking for so long. Shall we go down and have some sweet potatoes? So our next match would be next year? Or maybe even longer than that. I know! How about once I reach the same height as you? And if we're around the same build, I might stand a chance. Oh, but you'll probably be even stronger by then. <laughs> when that time comes, I wonder what everyone will be like. It's exciting just thinking about it. to ask this so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. Uh, you and all of us, or just him? Just him for now. Come with me to the student council room. that she'd only want to talk to him? Eh, probably big, important student council business. Maybe, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, you worry too much. Well, I guess we might as well head home. Hey, wait a sec, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to take over cleaning duty. Have fun sweeping the hallway. What? Since when? There's something you have to know. Do you remember Chidori, the girl who was with Strega? I don't mean to alarm you, but the truth is, there's a chance that she may wake up today. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die with our own eyes. However, a few days later, her body began to undergo transmogrification. For the past few weeks, she's been in a sort of stasis, neither living nor dead. I don't know. It may be related to her persona's abilities, but that's mere speculation. The reason I wanted to talk to you is... How do you think we should tell Iori? You see, she's probably... Yes, it's me. I see. Yes, I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. It's hard to believe, but it seems that Chidori really has come back to life. Did I hear that right? Yori? Chidori is... Huh? Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No, it's not a joke or a trick. She's currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But... Iori... She probably... Chidori... Chidori's... Alive? What's gotten into him? 
Well, I guess it's a moot point now. But perhaps it's for the best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this too. Could I ask you to come along? Huh? Junpei? You took off that fast and you still haven't gone inside? Well, I mean, it's kind of... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to charge in. I agree. Go on, Iori. You go in, too. Her damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Shidori? Is it really you? I'm not dreaming. Am I? Dreaming? <laughs> It's true. It is you. Chidori. Uh, who are you? Huh? W what? I thought so. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I had a feeling this might be the case. This is Kirijo-san and Iori-kun. They were your friends last year. Friends? Uh, uh. My name is Jidori Yoshino. I'm sorry. It hasn't quite hit me yet, but I guess I don't remember anything of the past few years. It's like I was having a really long dream. Jidori Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. She remembers everything that happened before then. But as for you all... <sighs> Iori... Nah... I think... It's better for her... That she doesn't remember... All that stuff about the fighting and... The suppressants... When you're having a nightmare... It's better... To be able to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted to make him happy. And I... I think... There were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori! Take it easy. Don't force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she can remember that part clearly, then maybe... <gasps> Do you remember how she'd occasionally use her power to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Iori-kun would visit. And she would always spend more time on the flowers she received from you, Iori-kun. She never even looked at me when I brought them in, though. <laughs> now I see. Any flower she touched would be mysteriously preserved. I ended up keeping them all for my research, but after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. Now that I think about it, that must have been the night she began to transmogrify. The power to share one's life with others. Could she have reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, there's no real proof. But compared to her previous state, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but furthermore... Excuse me? Are you talking about me? We were talking about how you want to live now. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I don't have time to lie in bed forever. Supposing you do find him, what will you do after that? Well... <sighs> that's none of your business. 
Chidori. The strength of two hearts connected brought about a miracle. Or, rather, a victory. No. <laughs> Chidori. Hey, hey. W why are you crying? I... I can't help it. I... I've... <laughs> I've never been so happy in my entire life! <laughs> Have some self-control now. Let's go. <laughs> different beans today. I went to a coffee shop and bought some real ones this time. I made sure to store them in the fridge, and I only ground them right before brewing. I also learned you need to be mindful of how hot the water is, as well as how you pour it. Yes, I practiced with the cheaper beans from before, since I can't afford too many of the expensive ones. Although, it was hard to drink all that coffee, so I added a lot of milk and sugar. <laughs> Well then, let's drink, shall we? Cheers! Hmm, it's still really bitter. So bitter. But it's not only that. I could actually taste some of the sweetness and richness this time. The beans and brewing technique can make a huge difference, huh? Oh, and the smell was great too. I'm feeling a little nostalgic, actually. Thanks for joining me. You can go on ahead. I'm gonna practice a little more to try and get the hang of this. Let's make some more if we ever get the chance. Oh. Uh, first, I gotta use the bathroom. I drank a lot while I was practicing today.
Chan-san. I'm so glad. Let's go tell the old lady about this. Oh, oh there, there. You seem a little skinnier than you used to be. This little one is all I have left to keep me company. I was so lonely when Michan was missing. I don't know how I can thank the both of you. Lonely is being by oneself lonely. Oh, yes, dear. When you get to be my age, you'll find that all the wealth in the world won't take care of you. No one can truly live alone. Some of my neighbors have delightful children, but... Oh, oh, they aren't interested in old ladies like me. Miss... Well, Michan, shall we go home? Thank you so much, you two. It seems that... Living is something that can't be done alone. Yes, it's important to keep someone in your thoughts, and to know that you are in theirs. To be able to contact them anytime, and to touch them. But I do understand one thing. It seems I feel happy when I'm together with you. But I have to wonder if living means to be able to connect with other people. How close to that goal can I come with a body like mine? Just kidding. I've been exceedingly negative lately. I wonder what's wrong with me. We should start heading back. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. I suppose... Shall we start cleaning up? Oh. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, that old lady. She's Michan-san's owner. Hey, Granny! Got a date tomorrow, but, uh, I don't have any money or anything, you know? Oh my, is that so? Oh, you poor thing. You've always been such a good boy, Kyoshi. This advance on your allowance will just be between you and me. Come on, quit it! I told you not to call me Kiyoshi! But it's such a beautiful name. I picked it out myself, you know. It was the name of a fine doctor from my home village. Yeah, I know, I've heard. Come on, hook me up already! 
Oh, yes, yes. It's not much. Try not to spend it all in one place. Sweet, thanks. See ya. Be careful and visit again soon. I have something I want to ask that Kiyoshi-san. Kiyoshi-san, please wait. Hey! Don't call me that... Uh, uh, Aiga-senpai? Do you know me? Well, yeah. You're famous. Uh, I'm uh, Kiyoshi Sakuma. I'm a first year. Everyone calls me Joe, I guess, senpai, so you can just... I would like to ask you something, Kiyoshi-san. Do you mind? Uh, uh, sure. Kiyoshi-san, do you feel lonely when you are by yourself? Huh? What? Your grandmother said that she's lonely because she has nobody else. What is this, a lecture? No, I just want to know. Why don't you visit your grandmother more often? If you are her relative, you may have the power to alleviate her loneliness. I mean, I am her grandson, but look, I don't need a lecture from you, all right? It's none of your business, okay? Kiyoshi-san, have you ever considered what it means to live? To live? Personally, I think the bonds between people are what's most important. That's what your grandmother is slowly losing. <sighs> to live? Are you kidding? No one actually talks like that. What more do you need out of life than to have a blast? To have a blast? I mean, you're happy when you're having fun, right? So hell yeah! We're alive to have a good time! A good time? So, what do you say, Aiga Senpai? If you got time, why don't we... Thank you, Kiyoshi-san. Let's go. Huh? What the hell? What, so you were just trying to play me? <laughs> Screw you! I can't understand Kiyoshi-san's feelings, and I even made him angry. Did I do something wrong? I see. I wonder why hearing you reassure me that way is... Well, it makes me happy. I... Ever since I decided to live, I've been asking why and how more frequently. The more time I spend with you, the more I discover that I don't understand. That when I ask myself why I'm not alive, I never have an answer. <sighs> Is this what you call frustration? But at the same time, I feel extremely lucky. I would even say I'm more fortunate than others, despite not being human myself. After all, you are very important to me, and I get to be by your side. It's strange how two conflicting feelings can coexist. In all honesty, though, my feelings towards Kyoshi-san are unusually harsh. Kiyoshi-san has warm, soft hands to embrace those precious to him. And yet he... <sighs> what is this ugly feeling? Is it... jealousy? Let's stop this. It isn't right. Yes, I am stopping right here. Shall we go home then?
around this time? I didn't expect Karamaru-kun to be so nocturnal. Things have been very strange lately. Hmm. How are things for you, Senpai? Is everything alright? If there's ever anything you need help with, please don't hesitate to tell me. I may be a little younger than you, and perhaps not the most reliable, but if you ever find yourself in need, I'll be here to lend you a helping hand. You're always so full of energy, Koromaru-kun. But I suppose it's getting a little cold. Why don't we start heading back? If you'll excuse me. Good night. meet up one more time before I take off. I told you last time, right? I'm getting a job. Factory's way out west, so I'm moving into a dorm there. I've already sent my luggage. Now I just gotta send myself. My mom started crying and blaming herself. But I'm the one who wants to do this. This is a new chapter in my life. Guess I should say goodbye to this ramen, too. Well then, I better get going. Sure, then let's head to the station. Hey. Here, take this. I want you to hang on to that. It's okay. There's no car to drive. It's the key to my dad's car. I've been keeping it for good luck. Sometimes I get pretty pissed that he's not around anymore. My life wouldn't have been so complicated, you know? I could have enjoyed track more. I wouldn't have had all that pressure to be the best. But by blaming him like that, I was just running away from my problems. That's why I want you to have it. I don't want to risk running away again. But if I know you have it, I'll be able to stand on my own two feet. Then, next time we meet, I can still be proud of who I am. <sighs> Thank you. We'll see each other again someday. I see you're back.
Marvel. I'm looking for. Here are my requests. Very well. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Are you in search of new power? Please choose the person. What kind of persona do you desire? Are you satisfied with this? Please choose what skills to inherit. an immense amount of power. It appears it will res- Well, well, well. Persona catch your eye? Persona catch your eye? Is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Please, you can't carry any more than that. I please choose the personas you would like to fuse. Consider. This one is somewhat. Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive. So it begins. This is 
your progress so far. This persona, you are already carrying that one. Is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Ah, please, choose the personas you would like. Are you satisfied with this? Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will risk well then. Shall we begin? It appears it will res- Well, well, well. Thank <laughs> you. 